following podcast is brought to you by Fuse 4 Network. Head over to Fuse4Network.com for more awesome content. This episode of Fuse Dudes is brought to you by Podbean.com, Tumblr.com, and Future Shop. Today on the show, we got video games, dreams, dreams, and more dreams. All that and more on this episode of Fuse Dudes. Hey everybody, Matt here, you can call me Matub, and welcome to episode 7 of Fuse Dudes. It is a lovely Saturday night in August, and I have five lovely gentlemen with me today. Mr. Dave McCauley, say what's up. Hey, hey, hey. You got Helmu, Tony, what's going on? Sub, baby. Mufasa Fernando. Woo, woo, woo. Spence, what's happening? Broskies, what's up? And last but not least, Mr. Zio. That other guy. <laughs> so, gentlemen, how you been? Uh, cool. Pretty good, yeah. Can't Fine. complain. Fine. Pretty been good, a couple, pretty good. Been a, yeah, been a couple weeks since I've been on this one yeah, of these podcasts. Yeah, yeah it's- same here. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, Dave, but anytime you're not on, we just make fun of you for like 10 I know. minutes of the podcast. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> so it's Maybe okay. he's here, too. I'm surprised it was, they haven't made fun of me yet. Did we get many call. comments about your uh, Google Plus profile, Dave? I'm not changing it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so on, uh, uh, was it Fuse for Gaming, we made fun of your your Google bio Plus. On, on Google Plus. Yeah. And, um, and so we told Dave about it afterwards. Oh, that would be my cell phone. Oh, oh God. Right here cancel. 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 Live call right here now. Live call. This is Chaz. Hang on. Hey, Chaz. Hey, you're you're actually in the middle of recording a fuse, dudes. Uh, well, cheers. I was just calling you. Uh, call Dave Colley. If he's there, I'm drinking a little bit of baboon. <laughs> oh, because well, he's, he's sucking off a baboon? Ben <laughs> <laughs> says it sounds like you took your second off. Uh, that's that's uh, tomorrow night's agenda. Oh, that's tomorrow night's agenda. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, just make sure. Oh. Yes. Is that his wiener? From my weed. Nice. <laughs> nice. It sounds so. I'm awful. actually I'm drinking I'm drinking a KBC blonde right now. Yes. So anyway. Uh, yeah. uh, Alright. <laughs> Bye. Love you. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a lovely gentleman. Oh yeah. Chaz. Only Chaz that mic. Oh yeah, wait he doesn't he have a mic? He does have a mic. He the does fuck, now. The fuck? Yeah. Get him. Get him. I no. know. <laughs> so did we no. keep rolling with this or yes, Yeah, we're still going. Okay, we're still going. So anyway, back to Dave McCauley. My bio. So your bio, uh we were making fun of it because it was it was really my spacey. And, yeah. Uh, and so I, I told Dave, I was like, hey, Dave, you know, heads up. I don't know if you heard the podcast yet. But we're kind of bag on you a bit. All in good fun, as, as we usually do here on Fuse 4. Mm-hmm. And Dave goes, oh, well, you know, they just, they imported that from my they Google do. information from like two years ago. Well, Dave, yes. then how did it update your age? Because I updated my own age. <laughs> so, let me guess. It auto-imported, and you took the time to go through it no. and update okay. your does age. Anybody, does anybody remember Google Profiles? No. 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 Nobody ever made a Google Profile. For no. Who no. Profile? What the fuck is that? Google so, this, this was way before they even had the idea for Google+. Plus. Or that no one ever used Google Profiles. Besides there was Google. a whole bunch of people in the tech community that were using Google Profile. So, that was the way to interact with each other. So, you come up with a profile... People could contact you. There was stuff you could let certain people see it. So it sounds like a Facebook. <laughs> except, yeah, not not the same functionality. But yeah, Google it, profiles in, still exist. It in, yeah. See? Actually, if you go to if you go to profiles.google.com, it will auto send you to Google Plus. <laughs> yeah. See, there we go. <laughs> Evolution. I was not baby. I was not fucking with you guys. I, exactly. So everything that was from there was imported into here, and I updated my age, and I just didn't give a shit about everything else because I kind of gave myself I, – I, I laughed at it. I was like, <laughs> that was a long time ago, but ladies. it's still funny. Yeah, ladies. <laughs> oh, no, okay. See, you it, know it, what? It, I'm, if I'm... No, wait, if nobody's read it, here, a short bio, eh? Well, my name is Dave, and I'm a <laughs> five foot nine geek with brown hair and matching eyes. 
I'm currently 24 years old <laughs> at the time of writing this, and it's and, and I'm super sexy, ladies. No, nope. uh, stumbling no, through it was not way really, worse yeah. than I was. <laughs> I have a great sense of humor and a large amount of knowledge when it comes to technology and video games. Oh. I'm hand the hand founder of the Fuse 4 God. Network, when it, <laughs> which is audio video production company, which is very true. We produce original content for the internet, and it's really tweeted. Treat, tweet, tweet, oh my God. Tweet, tweet, tweet it. me well. We have a new segment. It's called uh, Let's Drunk Podcast. Hell yeah. 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 Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, well, tell you what. Let's look at some of the other people in the Fuse 4 Network. Let's see. Spence has no bio on his Google Plus profile. I don't exist, man. Uh, yes, I do. Tony yeah. says, I'm me. Yes. I'm me. Versus <laughs> I'm me. Just let's simple, look at, let's look at simple Moose. and subtle. Moose is single and looking for a relationship. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's Mexican. Ladies, he's Mexican. Yeah, and then you got me. He's it, spicy. And then you got me. I was kind of dickish. I said, I'm supposed to say something so you know you found the right quote, Matt. My nickname is Matub. There. That should do it. <laughs> there you go. Yep. That's about Short, and sweet. SMD. Whoa. Whoa. So, Whoa. Gentlemen. I that's know that, oh, not appropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we always talk about video games like way too much, but that's all we do. What are you guys playing? Oh, um, I kicked Tony's and no. uh, Spence's ass at SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. One time. Twice. SVR? Nope. Are you high? Oh, fuck off. I smoked your ass as Paul Bear. Oh, I smoked your ass again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, wait. Wait, you were the, you were the, the short, creepy dude that, that follows Undertaker around? Yes. Undertaker. Did you win? Yes. Nice. That's like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. You won by a dirty pin, yeah. 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 It's a dirty pin. What's a dirty pin? It's where you and put you your feet up the on the ropes leverage. and you hold them and you're low and you hold them down. Oh, okay. Because a dirty pin kind of sounds like. Remember I told you guys about how you can invent, <laughs> you can invent sex acts by saying two things. Like you name you name a place and a thing. Croatian coffee can. Yeah. Hey, that's mine. No. Nope. No, the Croatian coffee can I believe was mine. What? No. No. It was mine. no. Well, the it's the internet's now. Sorry. Okay, so it's the internet's now. So. So yeah, that kind of brings me back to the, the um sexy time thing. Like Whoa. the, uh, okay. Let, let's come up with some. Let's come up with some new ones. Dave, what do you Why got? always come to me first? I wasn't <laughs> even thinking. Because you're the I founder. Was, I was looking up games that I've been playing on my <laughs> Xbox profile. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I've been doing. Okay, so so how about this one? How about this one? The um, uh, the uh, the Macaulay can opener. Uh, <laughs> it's like a know. wrestling move. Yeah, it does. It does. Yeah, it sounds like a finisher. Okay, yeah. but I. Oh, it is a finisher, trust me. <laughs> 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 okay, no, 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 you gotta do, okay, you gotta keep it with alliteration, alliteration makes it better. So, the Macaulay microphone. <laughs> maybe, maybe like the, uh, the Chilean corn cob? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got. We got the, um, uh, I can't, I'm, I'm trying to look at you guys and then, like, come up with it. <laughs> I got one. What's up? Uh, the sizzle in South Carolina. No, the South Carolina sizzler. So you got to do the yeah. the uh, the oh, place. You got to do, do the place first. Yeah, okay. you got to do the proper name first. So whether it's a last name or a a uh, a place. How about this? The Cumberland Clam Bowl. Yeah, that works. Perfect. That sounds extremely dirty and difficult. <laughs> <laughs> like it involves six people and a punch bowl and yep. and all kinds of cooking oil. <laughs> no. Man, that sounds like a good time though. Like, <laughs> Helmut knows how to spend a Friday night. I'll oh, tell you what. good, good. Mm. The California cornhole. Ooh. That, uh, I think that already exists. Yeah. Exists. What? Really? I think I think I've done that once or twice. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like things that okay things that have that have come up in conversation with my friends about like the the two name sex acts. Some of them we we googled and they actually exist. Oh my god! Like cool. uh, the Alabama Hot Pocket. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> mm. Sounds like one that I would make up. It actually exists, and it's one of the most disgusting things I think I've ever heard of in my life. Beep. And I don't know if one of you guys wants to Google it, but I don't want to say it. I heard of it. I heard of it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> 
So, what? other things, um, like on South Park, they said Hot Carl. And yeah. so I had to Google what Hot, Hot Carl. Carl was. And <laughs> unless I'm mistaken, a Hot Carl is a Cleveland steamer, but it involves yeah. Saran Wrap. Yeah. Well, uh, believe it or not, I've got a whole document with this shit oh, in it. Oh, a list? <laughs> yes, with what? a whole list <laughs> that I downloaded once upon a time. <laughs> And I just remembered I had it on my external hard drive, so I just popped that shit on you downloaded, and opened it. You downloaded Urban Dictionary? <laughs> no, no, no. It was just a, <laughs> it was a torrent from a long time ago, but just a text document of a whole oh, bunch God. of... Uh, okay, is, Al- is, is Alabama Hot Pocket in there? Let's see. Control Alaskan F. Pipeline. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Anal Rope Burn. Angry, <laughs> angry <laughs> Brack. <laughs> Pirate, applause from the back row. I know. A, what? Wait, applause from the back row? That yeah, sounds when awesome. Man, when so a man crazy. is doing a woman from behind, and his balls slap her in the ass so fast, <laughs> it's the sound of an applause. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? That's not, like, the best thing ever, because... No, it, no that happens all the time. No, 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 no. Let me, let me, tell, you, let me tell you a little story here. So I was, I was with a girl, and she had what I like to call the space. You guys know what the space is? The space. It's when it's space when uh, she has really wide hips but a small frame. Oh. Geez. So when she when she puts her legs together, you can still see a space, you know, underneath, right? Yeah. And so like you can see light sh- shining through like holy grail. <laughs> well, also, also I I uh, you know my my wedding tackle hangs pretty low, and mm-hmm. so we're going at it one day, and uh, you know I started getting the applause from the back row. But then it started to go up and was hitting her in the stomach. Oh. <laughs> and then I just gave, like, this one m- fucking mighty Thor push, right? <laughs> and then <laughs> right on her fucking stomach, man. And I fell over on my back and just went, ah. And she turns around and she goes, was that your balls that just hit me in the stomach? <laughs> you, gave it, you gave it the good old Hadouken there. And I was like, <laughs> oh. Yeah. Hadouken. No, but instead of seeing if I was okay or, like, trying to sympathize, she just started laughing at me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I tell you what, when you have a naked girl laugh at you after you've been hitting the nuts, that is an instant boner kill. Yep. It goes right down. <laughs> but, anyway, Dave, have you found, has anyone found yeah. the Alabama Hot Pot? Yeah, I have. So, okay, Tony, read it. Uh, what do you, which one do you want? Do you want well, the involved, there should be only one. It involves no, opening. Yeah, I know. Things there, going inside. There, there's the nice abbreviated one, or there's no. the long drawn out. Do the out. full description. Do the full description. Do okay. it in a funny voice. What? No, do it in your normal voice. The Alabama. There we go. <laughs> Shut up. Shut yeah. up. <laughs> I'm the one speaking about inappropriate things here. <laughs> The Alabama Hot Pocket is a special fetish maneuver that roughly involves taking a shit in a woman's vagina, typically followed up by a good old fucking. The term Alabama orig- originated from a lesser known but crucial additional practice that involves porky piggin, the female who has received the Hot Pocket. In Alabama, you see the good old redneck boys, when bored, would fuck, a pig, tr- would fuck pig troughs or large wet piles of mud. Oh. To properly perform the porky piggin follow-up procedure, one must take a massive shit into the vagina without spreading the lips. Oh, this creates a core that en- that enters the woman and then uh, drags and then drags that explode all over her by randomly stabbing it with the cock. One will separate the successfully porky piggin the girl. Yes. Naturally, the action that would normally be associated with screwing a pile of mud or animal trough. No, 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 that's all, so, folks. So oh. essentially, you deuce in the vagina and yeah. then violently fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Yummy. Oh. <laughs> Yuck. So, I, I don't know if we have any listeners from Alabama, but what the fuck? Oh. <laughs> what are you who, fucks doing out there? Who comes up with that? It's No, it's, 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 it's probably all just derived from, like, deliverance. <laughs> Bet I can make you squeal like a pig. Oh, wee, wee. Got now, hurt a mouth. I'm kind of wondering who came up with this one that I'm reading. The ugly Stanley. <laughs> the, fa- <laughs> the face a girl makes during her orgasm. Like yeah, the old I, face. <laughs> <laughs> the old face. Why is it called the ugly Stanley though? Or a zombie rod. The state oh. of your penis after a marathon sex session when the head of 
yeah, when the head of it is numb and no longer has feeling, is the zombie rod. Yeah, that, that's happened to me once or twice. Uh, yeah. Similar sound that follows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, is the, that is the sound your dick makes. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Oh, man. So, anyway, Xbox games. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> we go from we sex go to, to Xbox to... games. What the fuck is no, going we were, on? No, no, we, we, we were on it. Xbox have X in it, so... Sex going, box games. We're going full circle here, so... <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, back... Dave, you were looking up games that you were playing. <laughs> oh, all right. So, I've been playing some uh, Super Street Fighter 4 A edition. Or, A... Yeah, arcade edition. Um, Batman, Arkham Asylum, some man. Van- vanilla Street Fighter 4, Lost Planet 2, and uh, Resident Evil 5. Yeah. You Going know, for I, some achievements in those games. I honestly could not get into Arkham Asylum. What? I, know I said it before. I just, what? I, I, the I fuck? don't like stealth games. And so I was, playing the, I was playing the demo, and I was like, ooh, a beat-em-up. All right. So I went out and I rented it, and I was like, and so I brought it home, and I was like, "You got okay, shot, didn't you?" Uh, what's that? You got shot, didn't you? No, I was like, I was like, "This is a beat 'em up game, you know, and this is awesome, right?" And so I beat up like the first room of guys, and then it's like, "Oh, you can't be seen, or they'll murder you." I'm like, um, they'll murder bar you. So what? Why wouldn't you leave your X-ray vision on the entire game? That's one question I have. I do. Well, that's the thing that they're gonna try Obvious. and stop in uh, in the next game because yeah, it made it way too easy. Yeah, but beyond that, it's, it like it has these awesome environments and everything. Yeah. It's like mm. X-raying through it the entire game. The only yeah. the only time I ever really used it was when I when like you'd get to the room with all the gargoyles and there'd be all just guys there. That's the only time I ever use it really. I need to get to the next room and I just couldn't see the guys through the floors. Mm. Right. That's about it. Um, yeah, Spence, what have you been up to besides uh, wrestling? Uh, I've been playing Worms Reloaded. Yeah, I saw that on your channel. Yeah, but I was playing that way before I even recorded that. Oh, really? How are you liking it? Oh, I love it. It's really? Fantastic. It, bring, it brings me back to the uh, the SNES worms. I don't know. You ever play the uh, PS3 worms? No. I don't have a PS3. I, I have really good memories of back when I was up at school, going to a buddy's apartment and, like, having ten people in a room. We'd all be playing four-player worms, like, screaming oh. at each other. Isn't that Worms Reloaded? I'm pretty sure it's the exact same one, because it came out in 2008 or, or 2009. Yeah, I think it was Armageddon 2. Okay, all this, right. This was back in 07, 08. All right. But yeah, so it, it, brought back the, it brought back the days of Goldeneye. Yeah, <laughs> actually, oh, actually... Oh, that was of, great. Back in well, I was actually, I was at a party not too long ago. Uh, actually, last weekend. And I was playing Goldeneye. Nice. Like, um, uh, my brother-in-law, his friends are, are really into bad movies, like movies that are so bad they're good. Yeah. And so we were doing movies on the lawn because it was a really nice night. And uh, <clears throat> say this projector out there. And first thing we watched was we were going to watch a movie that, that we knew was good, and then we we're going to watch a movie that was so bad that it's good. Mm-hmm. So we watched uh, Super Bad. <laughs> Which you know, you know, a couple of years later, it's still funny. Like, mm. I'll enjoy it. It's funny from time to time. Yeah, and, and it's been a while since I've seen it, so I'm not oversaturated. On yeah. It. And then we we watched Samurai Cop. Oh my! I've seen that. I've You've seen, seen that. Samurai Cop. Yeah, I've seen Samurai. Actually, Ben Cop. showed me that movie. Jesus it was, Christ! It was between it was between Samurai Cop and Immortal Kombat. Uh, <laughs> Immortal that? Kombat starring Rowdy Roddy Piper. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who just said who? I don't know. No, Rowdy Roddy Piper, really the old the wrestler. He used to be in a lot of yeah. movies in the eighties. Um, he wow. was in They Live. They Live is an amazing, amazing sci-fi movie. And Immortal Kombat, I'm pretty sure, was just trying to like ride the coattails. And actually, I have Immortal Kombat on VHS, and it says on the cover, "This is no game." <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, uh, then we went inside, and they had an NES and an N64 hooked up, and so Lucky there was some hardcore Dr. Mario going on. Ooh. Like, people playing level 15, I couldn't even keep up with how fast it was going. Ah. Uh. And then we played Goldeneye, and I forgot how much I hate that game. Really? Yeah. I love yeah. Goldeneye. 
it's so much fun for like ten minutes, right? Oh. And then and then you start to remember like the little secrets and the little cheap bullshit. Yeah. And so you're having so much fun for ten minutes when it's on an evil even playing field, but then someone put put it on that. Someone puts on proximity mines on facility, and there's always one asshole who holds himself up in the bathroom, and you're like, "Fuck you, dude." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and so we started playing License to Kill. Facility's with a bad place to do multiplayer. Facility's the best place to do multiplayer. No, it's, not. it's so closed in. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it always turns out it's like, okay, there's one guy camping. The three of us are gonna go ass fuck him, right? <laughs> and Proximity then, mine. <laughs> yeah, I know. And then we're like, okay, so so winner gets to choose the next the next game type. And I did License to Kill with pistols, and that is a game type. Because it, the Magnum is useless, <laughs> and because it, it's one shot kill, right? Yeah. And so pretty much everybody's good to go. And uh, uh, my, I don't remember his name. I think, I think it was Andre. He was so far ahead. He was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna start slapping people. And so he was like, Jeez. like we were playing on the temple, and so he'd be coming up to you and he'd zigzag all the way across the map, <laughs> <laughs> so you couldn't shoot him. <laughs> and you come up and slap you in the back of the head <laughs> to death. and you're like damn it tag you're it bitch but it holds true to this day that the better your TV the worse an N64 looks yeah, oh, yeah. That's oh yeah I guess, yeah cause it's, it's more stretched out man. yeah it, it doesn't it doesn't like being on a non CRT TV that'd be good for me then do you have a CRT still? yeah, yeah I'm poor <laughs> oh, I'm poor. Oh, I, I honestly, I don't that. think there's. I, a... I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's still good. It still works. In yeah. the house I am currently in, I don't think there is a single CRT TV. Um, calm down, Mister Fancy Pants. In this one, yeah, in our house there are. See, in my dad's place, there's a bunch of them, but this is... I think there's three here. I'm honestly, okay. I, don't, I don't think there's any here. Okay, so. I got. I've been meaning to tell you guys about this. I had this dream the other day, that involved moose. Oh, <laughs> what? Oh okay, I know. Totally random, right? Because I haven't talked to him since. Mm-hmm. Well, since Better not be racist. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's gonna come off as kind of racist. Oh, son of oh. a bitch. Oh, so, oh, so, so moose is Mexican, right? Yeah. We're, yeah. we're just oh, throwing that, that out there. I, you know, I don't see color. I, I just... see people. I see my best friend. Oh, oh, look at this. Hey, Dave, Tony Tony be... <laughs> throw it out. I swear to God, Dave would be like throwing out peace signs to say that right now. Like, I don't see color and I don't see you people. Okay, Mufasa, I don't know what's wrong with your microphone, but try yeah. taking it out of your asshole and then <laughs> your face. My speaking is so... speaking <laughs> of Mexican. What? And speaking Spanish, jeez, I can't understand what he's saying. <laughs> what? <laughs> no say, no lo veo. Okay, oh, Jesus. God. Oh, now we're connecting things to TVs. <laughs> what? Any better? That's what oh, it sounds like. It's a lot it's better, fantastic. yeah. Okay, so, so I had this dream, right? Where I was back in Flint, and I was at my dad's place. And my buddy Dave that I work with and Moose came to pick me up from my dad's place. <laughs> what? I, Moose lives in Arizona, and yeah. I have never seen Dave in Flint ever. So it's not like it's not like this is something that could happen. So it's like something that you could dream about. It's just completely random. And so they picked me up, and for some reason I still had my truck. I hadn't gotten rid of it. Mm-hmm. And uh, they took me downtown Flint, and uh, we went to this guy's house. And I don't remember exactly what happened in the house, but like we left in a hurry. Because I think what? Moose, like, said some shit to the guy that owned the house. He's like, who the fuck out? Oh, and so we go out, and Moose's car is gone. Right? <laughs> and so he's like, oh, I'm just going to steal this guy's car. Show him for being such an asshole. Oh, right? no. There so it is. We, <laughs> the three of us hop in the car and bounce, and we're like, all right, we're good. And so we're just driving down the road, and all of a sudden Moose just goes, oh, my God, there's cops on us. And I was like, oh, oh shit, I'm going to jail. And so we pull off, and we, we leave this car at, like, a Best Buy. And uh, for some reason, we walk down the road to the next door, which in real life would have been like three miles. But <laughs> this was like two blocks. And it was a car stereo store. And so um, so we go in there, and uh, and these cops walk in. And they're like, they're like, hey, so we saw this abandoned car like like two miles away, and we're checking all the stores. 
And, I, and I'm thinking, I'm like, that's fucking retarded. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I know, right? And so they come up, and, and I, I don't, I, I turn to talk to Dave for a second, and I turn back, and the cops are, like, dragging Moose away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they're, like, they're like, this motherfucker stole that car, and he's coming with us. And, and Dave and I are both like, yeah, we don't know that guy. Good luck. <laughs> oh. 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 I know, right? I, like, dream me is an actor. <laughs> and so, uh, and then I get a call, which seems like instantly oh, okay. on my cell phone. And it's Moose. He's like, hey, so uh, they didn't have any, all they had was circumstantial evidence. So they're letting oh. me out. And then he's like, I'm going to come and pick you and Dave up. And I was like, okay. And so Dave and I walk outside the store. Moose is already there in his own car. What the fuck? I know. It was a fucked up dream, right? And like so, a span of ten seconds. I know, like, like I hang up my phone and I walk outside, and he's there. And so, uh, so we go to hop in the car, and the cops pull up, like, like a fucking raid of cops pulls up, right? Like five cop cars, and they're like, "You said you didn't know him, and you're getting in his car with a fucking." Ball. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what this "Fuck, guy, he's trying to kidnap us. Help me!" And then I, I woke up. But, Whoa. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Long story oh short, my God. Dream B is kind of racist and a real asshole. <laughs> and Dream, your friend Dave, too. Yeah. No, dude, Dave was just kind of going along with it. Oh, like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, he was just like, all right, I, I need some car stereos, Bakers. All right, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he was real chill about it. Oh, man. But, like, and I, I was trying to think about, you know, things that usually cause bad dreams, like eating before you go to bed or... Um, eating spicy foods, leaving a bad movie on, something like that. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I couldn't think of why I just randomly had a fucked up and vivid dream. I know, that seems kind of odd. Nah. The, I'm not well, even sure what to... Uh, yeah, I know, that's just, just a weird... What do we like, say to that? <laughs> I don't, but, like, like, do you guys ever, um... Do you guys ever, like, try to get into lucid dreaming? I want to. I would really want lucid to. Lucid what? You, you don't know what a lucid dream is? No. When you when you kind of um, when you kind of uh, in the middle of your dream you go oh I'm dreaming you kind of, wake of waking up, up you realize you're dreaming yeah instead of waking up you control the dream I, uh, I you really know what want that. you know what's weird I don't have dreams because yes, I you always know I, I know I don't I'm I swear to God no, no, I don't Zio. have dreams every Zio, time it, I go to sleep I wait I I I just I I I kind of like. Shut my eyes and just wake up right then, right then, and like it'd be hours later. I I but, don't have dreams. But Zio, you don't understand. You have to have you dreams. Have dr you would go crazy. Yeah. You just don't you remember. Just remember. You them. just don't remember them at all. Zio, no, Zio is heartless people. I remember. I remember my dreams when I have no, them. Not all of them. Usually no, you don't. Uh, the average person, a dream only lasts like fifteen minutes, and when you remember a dream, you remember one of like six that you have throughout the night. You have and to remember it's... 15 minutes of stealing cars and getting arrested. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Like, it was... <laughs> no, it wasn't, even, dude, it wasn't even 15 minutes. It was like 20 seconds. No, no, it happened in a span of 20. Get, get it right. Zio is just heartless. Just just remember that, guy. What does the heart Zio have to do heartless. with dreaming? Yeah. yeah. He's heartless because you can't dream without a heart. I don't know. I need a brain to dream. So heartless. Terrible <laughs> joke. Terrible. So, Dave, how was the bad? Joke abort. Joke abort. <laughs> Refreshing. Good, good, good. Dave, so you Dave, can't, you, you, you can't you honestly like tell us. Dreams? Oh yeah. What? Do you, do do you like listen? having dreams? Do I like having dreams? Yeah. Recently, I've had really bad dreams the last two weeks. Oh, really? Go ahead. Yeah, like nightmares. Lucky. What? Lucky. You Lucky. Like, no, I wish like I ones, had nightmares. I like, don't remember half like, my dreams. No, like the the worst dreams I've had in my entire life. Like they're terrible. <laughs> like how? Like uh, I, uh, last Friday. I had this little chihuahua, and it, it may not seem as frightening right now as I tell the story, but this, this little fucking chihuahua was I, was, I was at somebody's house, and he just kept going and biting my finger, my <laughs> index finger, finger on my left hand, yeah. and I kept shaking the shit out of it, <laughs> shaking it, and I, I, could, I, I, could feel, I could feel the pain on my finger while I was sleeping. I'm just imagining I, Dave with like, this dog stuck to his finger. Yeah, like, dude, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's the way it was. I was like, get the fuck off, get the fuck off. To the point where I was taking my right hand and punching it in the fucking head. <laughs> I was like, I'd swing it towards my right hand and punch it and swing it and punch it. And then I woke up I, I woke up in the morning. I was so traumatized that I was in the shower. 
and I, you know, I, I was, I was washing my hair, and I close my eyes when I wash my hair, yeah. right? Because yeah. I don't, I don't want to get the soap in my eyes. And I saw that fucking dog's face, and it was <laughs> freaking me out. It was literally <laughs> freaking me out. I had to open. I was like, my yeah. God, I, I had to lean against the wall. I was like, this is really freaking me out. Babe. I, I, I can't get rid of this image of this dog biting my fucking finger with these, <laughs> with you, these like demon teeth. This fucking punch it like Rocky. <laughs> Yeah, I, no, I'm not joking. I was fucking like swinging at it. I'm, I'm, just imagining, <laughs> I'm just imagining Dave like speed bagging this fucking chihuahua. Oh, dude, it was so creepy. Me, put him in a tube and fling him across the room. He wouldn't fucking let go of my finger, dude, so dude, I just kept going it? bam, bam, bam. Have you That's ever owned a chihuahua? Hilarious. No, never owned a chihuahua in my life. Funny. Why is, but why is that such a terrifying dream? I have no No, it was just. It was, I, I think it was just because I was in the shower and I closed my eyes and I kept seeing that fucking chihuahua's face with the big teeth, like massive, uh, like pin teeth looking at me with a bigger than usual mouth <laughs> and, and biting my finger. And I was like, that's so kind of like, kinda like the dog from mask. Yeah, except more realistic. Oh man. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's awesome. I really? just, I'm it doesn't seem scary. Into my it seems head. hilarious. Yeah, it doesn't seem scary now, but that next morning, it was freaky as fuck. Fucking I could not close my... Things. In my shower, I could not close my eyes without seeing that fucking pooch. And <laughs> punch yourself. Bite your own that finger, was, Dave. Yeah. That, was probably, that was probably the fastest shower I've ever had in my entire <laughs> life. Because I was like, I can't... No, no. You're like, man, I'm wall. so scared, I can't even jerk off. Yeah, well, yeah, and I had I, I had goosebumps in the shower, and I have really warm showers, like fucking hot showers, and I had goosebumps. Just it was freaking me out. It's so, ugh. So ladies, so Dave's worst fear is a chihuahua. Time in the hot, shower. Yeah, the chihuahua. The hot shower. I'll think yeah, about Dave's like very yeah. hot showers. Remember, DaveMcCauley dot com. Your goosebumps <laughs> wet your twat. Dude, we have a good fun. We haven't made fun of DaveMcCauley.com in a long time. Updating it right now. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the Chihuahuas, man. The Chihuahuas. Fucking Chihuahuas, man. I'm gonna push your name this podcast. <laughs> if you can follow me home, fucking Chihuahuas. Fuse Dudes presents Dave. We're McCauley. gonna get it. We're gonna get a Chihuahua for your birthday, Dave. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, I know. Get him. I'll give him a little. I'll get. Oh, that's what I will. I'll get him like. A get little... him the Taco Bell Chihuahua. No, I'll give him a little chihuahua, a little, little toy one that the mouth opens up and barks, and I'll give him a boxing glove, and I'll just send it to him. <laughs> That's what oh, you know what to do. No, with, a little note, with a little note, this is practice up, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll I'm come to his house, and I'll put the little puppy on his index finger, and then I'll just punch him in the face with a boxing glove. Oh my god. So Dave. Oh, next time, next time we, if we all go to E3, we should do that as a prank. <laughs> oh, now Dave's gonna have nightmares. He's up. He's gonna I am. I'm gonna have a nightmare tonight. Uh, Dave's gonna have nightmares where he's biting the finger of a giant chihuahua that keeps <laughs> punching him in the face. <laughs> I am. Speaking of nightmares, though, guys, do you ever have those nightmares that just stick with you for like so many years? Mm, what do yeah. you mean? Like a recurring nightmare? Y no, like an old nightmare that just never leaves your mind. Oh, like, that you ever. can still remember from like back when you were a kid. Yeah. Not yeah, really. I have a couple if, like if that. If this sounds no strange, I've actually had a nightmare and relived it twice. You lived it? No, no, not lived it. No, but I, saw I've, it dreamt, twice. I've, dreamt, I've dreamt the exact same nightmare and it happened the exact same way. Oh yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I, I haven't had a good. I haven't had a good nightmare in a long time. This yeah, me neither. A good nightmare. Yeah, yeah what's a good is. nightmare? Um, something that'll scare the shit out of me. Why was that good? good? Why would you want, you want to get the shit scared out of you? It's for real. <laughs> so because what? here's the thing. Nightmares as an adult are different than nightmares as a kid. Because nightmares as a kid, you wake up and you freak out. Yeah. Nightmares as an adult, you wake up and you're like, that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. I'm going to go have a beer. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I want to dream. That'd be like, that would scare the fucking shit out of me. And I wake oh. up and I'd be like, what the fuck? Okay. Dream about chihuahuas biting your fucking hand. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> then you'll have a dream, dream to remember. Tonight. Oh. Has like, anyone woken yeah. up from a, a bad dream in a dead sweat? Like a complete you dead mean, like, sweat? You mean like a cold sweat? Like cold. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. yes. Like panicking, like no. heart racing. Yes. Oh my god, those are the worst. Yeah, man. Yeah. You ever have, like, you ever have yeah. a running dream where you're like running from something and it just gets yes. closer and closer? As a kid, and I, oh, yeah. as a young kid, I had those dreams like every night for like an entire month. Oh my god. 
Have you ever Get been sleeping? Have you guys ever been like sleeping and, and you actually and you've been tossing and turning from a, a dream so much that you actually fell off the bed? Yeah, I've, I've, done, that times. Times. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that. That's happened to me before. It's like, uh, I actually, it, I actually what, cut myself on the side of my oh, bed. Like that. What the fuck? Who cut me? Like, I fell off a bunk bed once. Oh, I fell off a bunk. Oh, oh, oh. That explains a lot. Don't tell you on the oh, top. Fuck you. <laughs> Wait, she's been dropped on the head before a few times. Zio, did, did, you head, say that, did you say that you've been shanked by your bed? I, 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 I got slightly cut by, by my bed, yes. Why is your bed sharp? I, I, when I well, think of... I, well, actually, it wasn't my bed, it was my um, cousin's bed. And it's because of this, you know, this, the, the metal parts that you use to hold a bed? No. You mean the frame? The frame? It had a metal yeah. frame? The, the metal frame. Like the edge of the metal frame cut the metal, metal like jagged metal. metal. Yeah, but oh, okay. don't you, it's pretty close to the side then. Don't you usually have like a box frame that's under the mattress to yeah. keep you yeah. away? There's, from a, bo there's a box spring, and then that overhangs over the uh, frame. Yeah, no, no. overhang. Right. Ah, never know. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> Dude, okay, so I had this dream when I was a kid, and like Spence talking about uh, nightmares that stick with you. That you still remember? I had this dream when I was a kid where. I, I was like a secret agent or something, right? And uh, that's a bad dream. Hang on, dude. No, and <laughs> everything just like like it started off totally badass. Like like imagine imagine an eight year old having a dream that he's a secret agent and like how awesome it could be. Fuck like, yeah! I, I drove I an Aston, I drove an Aston Martin with like a leggy blonde in the passenger seat, and I had like all the Tootsie Rolls I could eat. <laughs> 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 I just remember like Tootsie Rolls and chicken nuggets, and like calling up Q and be like, "Hey Q, give me some Tootsie Rolls, motherfucker." Q. And so, but then everything started to go like really bad, and it, it was to the point where it's one of those like you know how Bond would always get caught and he would get yeah. out. Yeah. Well, I got caught, and like any time yeah. I try to get out, I'd leave the room and I get trapped in another like, <laughs> trap. <laughs> and, and it was this never any what is thing this, the of cube? What's that? Hypercube. The, the hypercube? What's the hypercube? What? Never seen the hypercube? No. Oh. Okay. It's, just, uh, it's, it's well. Yeah, tell it after. Here. Okay. okay. So so anyway. So after like like five times of getting out of like like sharks and uh, lowering platforms and lasers and shit, and uh, so I finally bust into like the whole, you know, the room of of whatever, and I go in. And, like, there's, like, five people that look like they're from Sesame Street. <laughs> what? <laughs> but, they're like, but they're, like, ten <laughs> feet tall. from Sesame Street? Yeah, no, no they're, like, they're, like, ten feet tall Go and on. dressed like 1920s gangsters. <laughs> 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 so imagine, like, snuffle up against in a zoot suit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and, so, and so the fucking, um, the, the chair turns around and it's... And, and you know those uh those things where like you when you're a little kid and you pull on the lever and then the arrow spins and it's like the cow goes moo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it it was Big Bird, but it was red and it was plastic and its body was one of those spinner things. Oh god. And and like he he spun the thing and it turned around and it said and now you die. <laughs> <laughs> and, and everyone started like This sounds amazing. That it sounds amazing, a, actually. I him. can't take that seriously. <laughs> I can't. I can't either. I can't. <laughs> now you die. Cow. The cow says, "Now you die." Yeah, pretty much. It, except, I just I remember that, that the big bird was like, it, it was only like two feet tall, and it was red instead of yellow, and it was flat because pretty much most of its body was the uh, was the um, the arrow thing, arrow spinner. Okay. Yeah, like, I don't know why that still sticks with me. Snap like being a fucking fedora. That sounds weird. I, it, it, but Tony, what were you talking about? The Cube? Yeah, uh, it's a it's a it's a double movie. There, it's there's called there's the Cube, and then there's the Cube Two Hypercube. Basically, what the Cube is, uh, I don't know how I can really explain the premise of the story, but these people, they're they're some they're all uh, brought to a certain place. And it's it's like this demonic cube basically, and it's kind of like never ending, but there is an exit if you go the right way, and each room has a trap, and they have to survive these traps to escape, and so it's, it's like it, it's kind of like, like Saw. It's kind of. I was like, gonna say it no, sounds but like it's Saw. Way yeah. Worse. It's way worse than Saw. It's like there's this one room where um, like there because. 
it's it's rated really well on IMDb. There, okay, there's this one scene where uh, this guy because there's um there's entrances from the bottom and all the sides and the top. There's like hatches. No spoilers. You climb through. No spoilers. No, it's not. It's not spoilers. Just okay. it's, it's what's the it's what basically the cube is it is. And there's this one scene. I think it's from the second movie. It's nothing really spoiling, but I don't remember his name. But uh. There, most people, that when they check for the trap, they take their shoe off and they kind of lower the shoe down to see the trap, so they activate it. And what this guy does uh, is he climbs through the pipe and he does the shoe thing and nothing happens, so he climbs down and just starts like it starts like misting because and it's and he's like he's he's like drinking it because he thinks it's water. And basically, what it does is it I don't know what chemical it is. It basically melts his insides out. Probably sulfuric acid. Yeah. Right, something and it burns his skin off. Like, yeah. he starts itching at it, and, if like, you've seen Poltergeist in that one scene in the bathroom, and the yeah. guy starts fucking, he, he, he starts scratching his skin, he fucking starts ripping his skin off. And it's like, there's like it a sounds like a, It sounds like it was sulfuric acid laced with meth. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't remember what it was, but, and there's another scene where, like, there's a room filled with, like, so thin, invisible razor wire. This guy, like, climbs down, doesn't see anything, and he, he, like, walks in the middle pad, and the razor wire just slices through him like fucking cheese. And he just nice. topples. I gotta watch this so movie. This really, yeah, it, it sounds like Saw 2, but before, because yeah. this came out in 97. Yeah. There is one more catch to it, though. It's Good like job. an all each room is like a different dimension. Yeah. Because time passes differently for each person. Okay. Like this, this woman, she's had, as she is when she entered, but a guy that she saw earlier... Is like 80 years old, mm-hmm. and he wants to fucking kill her. That's yeah. kind of fucked up. Wow. There's like this one scene where the, this woman, she opens up the, uh, the hatch on the bottom, and she sees, like, um, I, me and Spence saw this, or I sent, Spence showed me, and it was like, uh, it was like another, it was another version, another dimension of the woman, and she's acting all nice and shit, and it's like an evil clone of her, and it fucking drags her in. And then she comes out the hatch again, and she's like the evil clone. It's fucking weird. You gotta see these yeah, movies. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it sounds yeah. like you gotta see it to really yeah. appreciate they are it. Awesome. Yeah. I really want to see it now. <laughs> Dude, you know what I want to see? Dave McCauley punching a chihuahua. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. In my head, brother. In my head. Bro, Dude, I, I would pay good money to see that. We gotta get up Randall, right? In the art department. We're like, hey, Randall. You gotta draw Dave McCauley kicking his shit on a fucking chihuahua. <laughs> yeah. And we'll put that on a t-shirt. We'll sell a million of them. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> but I want to move back to the uh, the dreams quickly. Uh, I've, I, I have three dreams that I remember as a child. Mm-hmm. One of them being... <laughs> this is, I'm, I, I see this, was, this one as being kind of embarrassing. Yeah. But not really, because it seemed kind of cool back in the day. Um... So Batman Returns yeah, yeah. had just came out. That's the one with Catwoman, right? Uh, I believe yes, so. I believe. Are so. you sure? I think yeah, Batman, is yeah. It? Batman Returns is the one with Catwoman. It's before Batman Forever. Yes, Batman. Yeah. Batman Forever is the one with um Riddler. Riddler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Mister Freeze and, and everything. Batman okay. and Robin is the one that we Stay don't talk cool. about. Stay <laughs> cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Batman Returns had just came out, and I got this whole like this book, like this. Uh, this fucking expensive book that it showed all the behind the scenes and everything, and my dad bought it for me. So it was cool. So I had a dream where I was just me and Catwoman. I guess I saw her as sexy back then. Like, that was sexy to me. Yeah. So it was like, oh, my God. I don't like yeah. Michelle Pfeiffer. So. No, neither do <laughs> I. But, like, I guess back then... A chick in a leather suit was like, oh, fuck, yeah. Dave was a fetishist as a little kid. No, so she was she was on some conveyor belt. Dave, you would have been like six when this happened. Oh, I would have been like, no, not six. Batman Returns like, came out in ninety two, man. Ninety two. <laughs> okay, well maybe you were a perverse a... fucking little shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I just remember her on a like conveyor belt, like all tied up, and like, oh, help me, help me, oh my god, and I was like, oh yeah, here we Jake's go, Bond. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I saved her, and uh, we we're just like kissing, like what? normal kissing, because I didn't know what making out was back then, Wait, I was like, uh, well yeah, I woke up with a pretty severe, uh, severe boner back then, but yeah, that's one of the dreams I remember, the other one is uh, being in my old house, 
not the one I'm in right now, but the uh, the second house I was in. Uh huh. And there was this landing, and I guess the world was just like flooded, like that that fucking Kevin Costner movie. What Water was world? it? Uh, yeah, Underworld. Water World. Oh, Water World. Sorry, yeah. Um, uh, and I had gills, and I would just run and fucking jump off the landing and just swim through my house, swim through the neighborhood. It was so awesome. And uh, the third one was just like having Jedi powers. That's but awesome. it, my only power, <laughs> this is, I was like the the, the the asshole or retard Jedi, apparently. My only power was be able to, like, fly. I couldn't do anything else. Like, what? I could, I could Superman? levitate. Yeah. Like the retarded so, like, Superman, okay. But it, but it was like, I was a Jedi. And I really had to think in my dream. I really had to think, like, Peter Pan, like... I can fly. I can fly. I can fly. <laughs> oh, God. Did you start singing? <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, okay, in my head, I'd be like, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly, I can fly. And then all of a sudden, I'd fly. But it, once I stopped thinking about that in my head, like I started talking to somebody in the air, I'd be like, oh, God, I'm going down. I'm oh, going down. Oh, going shit. Down. Fuck this. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, those are the three memorable dreams that I remember when I was young. I, I, like, the ones that really not really affected me but the ones i can still remember today and at times i still have that dream where i can uh where you're making out with catwoman no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no i still i still have that dream where i can like breathe underwater and swim I've through my house like 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 really oh you know dave i'm not gonna lie seriously all i got out of that was when you were six you had a boner for michelle pfeiffer okay <laughs> <laughs> well, i know i know don't now, forget. I know everybody has had this dream because it... it a Michelle Pfeiffer? No. No, no, no. Apparently. Oh, God, what? I have your brain scanned and permanently backed up in case something terrible happens to you, which it's just about to. Don't believe me? Here, I'll put you on. Hello. That's you. That's how dumb you sound. All right, so Canadian internet fail. We had just right there yet again. But... Before that happened, I was going to ask you guys. So this is a thing that people have talked about before, and I don't know if you guys have heard about it, but um, that whole theory where if you if you're free falling in your dream and you hit the ground, you're dead. Yeah, like in real life. Have you ever heard about that? The the, no, uh, I've never heard about that. The assumption is is really if if anything, it's kind of like the Matrix. If anything kills you in your dream, you die in real life. I've yeah. been killed in the dream. I got Tom shot by a No, but here's the thing. Everyone no. always wakes up on impact. Like, someone shoots you, you wake up. Because I've had dreams. I actually I had this awesome dream where I was, like, inside Firefly, and I was Nathan Fillion. <laughs> and, I, and I totally got shot in the chest. And, like, I could, like, it honestly it felt like someone punched me in the chest, and it really fucking hurt. Yeah. I spent the rest of the dream with this pain in my chest. And then... Like, yeah. in the end, I get in a shootout with the guy that, that originally shot me, yeah. and he shot me in the head, and I woke, up before I, I woke up before I died. But I don't know if the if, if the theory is, like, you get shot, you do... I think that it's just free-falling, and oh, if, so you yeah. the ground, yeah. if you hit the ground, if you hit the ground, you die. I've been shot in a dream, and well, then I've realized I've been shot in the dream, yeah. and then I woke up. Yeah, me too. But yeah. if, if have you ever had those free falling dreams? No. Because I've never hit the ground. I've never had a free fall. Well, here's the thing, but who's gonna test that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it's not. It's not a test thing. It's just yeah, like how, uh, do you, how do you? Interview? I, I don't. I don't know. There's a oh. whole. There, it's just a theory. Like, like, I guess. Say someone dies, right? You can't interview them and be like, "Were you having a dream where you were falling?" <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like. Uh, well, it's. I, I guess it's the exact same thing. If somebody dies and they resuscitate them, they see the white light. Yeah. Or what if you Maybe were like, in something a plane, like that, and then you had a free falling dream? Oh, that, well, was, that, that would scare the really shit tough. out of me. Oh, They'd probably get you tasered because you'd wake up like freaking out, and then they send an air marshal over. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, when you Calm wake down, up, sir. you realize you're really falling as you go. Oh, uh, this is another dream I've had. It really sucked. Like, uh, I was watching one of the uh, Dwayne Johnson movies, The Rock. Which, yeah. What was that one where he got he went all ape shit and started shooting people run because down. Rocky Tom, run down. No, 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 no. no what is Either the one of those. No, you... His newest one. His oh, new one. I don't fucking Fast know. Five. Fast newest five. one. Nope. No. Oh, not before Fast Five. Driver or something like that. Uh, it, it, Tooth yeah, Fairy. No. Disgrace. 
<laughs> Here, I'm gonna search it up very quickly. Oh, faster! Right? No, that's is it faster? That's fast five. I, no. No, it is faster. It is faster. I'm not faster and faster. Yeah, faster. Okay, so he gets sh no spoilers. He gets shot in the neck, oh. and I had I I just finished watching that movie, and I fell asleep, and I got shot in the neck, and I felt like the bullet in my neck the entire dream. It was so uncomfortable, just like having this shard in my throat. And I yeah. woke up, and my ex-girlfriend had stabbed me in the neck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, and I was bleeding everywhere. I was like, what the fuck? And then I sound, oh, God. And she was but like, yeah. and she's like, that's what you get for leaving our Sonic video up, you fuckhead. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, fuck that bitch. <laughs> fuck that cunt. But she was and really good at Sonic, though. Yeah, she may have been good at Sonic, but she was a fucking cunt. Um, and so I saw this video online the other day. It was called Hardcore Tattoo <laughs> Removal. It was called what? It was called Hardcore Tattoo Removal. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. And um, you ever use an air grinder? Yep. Um, like, like the same way you would use an air ratchet? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, so this dude has a chick, like a chick's name tattooed on his arm. Oh. And so someone just takes a fucking oh. grinder with a coarse grit. Jesus Christ. And just Ow. grinds oh. off. Oh my God. Most of the skin on his bicep. Oh. And, and at the end, he looks at the camera and goes, felt better than her blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Holy oh. shit. Oh. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Was was this like a hillbilly or was it yeah. like? It, and it was in the, it was in an auto garage too. No. Oh, and it, here's the no. Thing. It unsanitary. Was, it was a solid five minutes. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Arm sanded it off, and he doesn't even like grunt or wince or anything once. Why? Was he drunk or high or something? You know, I'm assuming so because yeah. Oh, the rednecks. They're like, in a dirty garage. They're doing these stupid ass things. <laughs> Well, his they prize, his prize was for doing that fucking a cow. <laughs> what? <laughs> fucking oh, that's right in the south. What? South puts out some pretty nice looking ladies, my friend. Yeah, but oh. put out. See, see, Dave, you would know up there in Canada. <laughs> in Canada land. In Canada's. But, well, I don't but, need to go anywhere for good looking ladies, though. What? He's got. I don't a, need to go anywhere for good looking ladies right, because he, what? He's he's got three of them at home. Oh yeah. Wait. No, that's no. That's <laughs> no, that's that's, that's no. That's oh, disgusting oh and going way over the line. <laughs> Whoa. See, yeah. You see that? I'm not. You see, that's nobody's gonna touch that because that's that's gross. I haven't made a Dave sisters or hot joke in a long time. And yeah, I'm but you you didn't look. say you know you you say that you'd rather do them. You never you never say that I'd fuck them because that is gross. That's going over. We do not like, promote incest. Wow. We at the Fuse Sport Network are against incest. Exactly. That's going too far. <laughs> Disgusting. So anyway, help us. <laughs> Back to I, the uh, dream subject. Have you so, guys yeah. ever had dreams that are um, deja vus? Yeah. But like, no. What do you mean? Like something that happened during the day? or Like like a dream. You dream it and then it happens like it happens exactly the way it happens in the dream. Yeah. It can happen. I have, like, tons of those. Yeah, but I, I have those dreams, and they're always about stupid shit. Like I'm making a sandwich, and I'm like, "Oh my god, I made this sandwich in my dream last night." <laughs> well, it, it, it's, it's always about something for me. Like, it's always about something that somebody says. I, I hear somebody say yeah. something specific, and it happens the exact same way. I'm like, Holy oh, that that yeah, that is deja vu. It I, could happen like you dream it, and then several ye several years later, all of a sudden it happens, and you sit there, and you're like, "Oh fuck." Oh fuck! Oh fuck! And it, but at the end, usually something bad happens. You fucking get shot. You're dead. Well, yeah. Usually, my sister stabs me or something like that. What? Yeah, it's really weird. And I'm like, oh please. And then it happens in real life. Oh, oh my god! Shit. No, that, that's that's deja vu because that doesn't happen. Thank God. <laughs> well, yeah. Hopefully, your sister doesn't stab you every time you have deja vu. <laughs> I have a couple scars. Oh, <laughs> here's <laughs> there. Speaking of which, that, that was not a very good uh, movie. Which what? Deja vu. I can't remember it. I'm pretty sure I think I've, I've seen it. Denzel Washington. What's the premise? I know I've seen it. Uh, yeah, it is Denzel. Is that the one where you can go back in time? Fuck. Oh, I gotta look it up. Oh yeah, and I remember. I think I remember a scene where he's on a hill or like a cliff. Okay, here's the thing. The rolling the down the hill. is when you Google Deja Vu, all you get are yeah. link, are links to the strip club. 
Well, do Deja Vu film or something like that. Here we go. An ATF agent travels back in time to save a woman from being murdered. Yeah. I remember when I heard about Source Code, I was like, isn't that pretty much just Deja Vu? Mm. Have you seen Source Code? No, I haven't. No, it's not the same thing. It's not the premise sounds the same. It's not. You gotta watch it. I don't wanna tell what the uh the entire premise is because it's it's a major spoiler. No, like, I, I got it from the trailers, man. So so they have like essentially what is a cross between deja vu and the pensive from Harry Potter. Like like they send Jake Joan Hall back into this like the last five minutes of someone's memory before the bomb and this bomb on a train that kills a bunch of people and he has to figure out who did it. And you find out in like the first five minutes of the movie if you're if you pay attention at all. And well, like, no, yeah, the whole thing is about Jake Gyllenhaal's character. Yeah, and he falls and, in love uh, with with this chick in five minute increments. Yeah, but you find out something about him that he's gay. No, <laughs> <laughs> Brokeback Mountain. Okay. So speaking of Jake Gyllenhaal making up for Brokeback Mountain, has but anyone? We're not going to go, go, go to screw that. What? Our- what? 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 I, I wouldn't I, screw it. The only thing I heard from that sentence was "screw that." Yeah. yeah. After to- Brokeback no, Mountain. No, but Broke after Mountain no, to make up for Brokeback Mountain, Jake Gyllenhaal did love and other drugs. Have you guys seen that? Yeah. Like, it's just him and Anne Hathaway fucking for an hour and a half. <laughs> like, yeah. like the exact same premise of uh, just uh, friends with benefits. Oh, best movie ever. No, dude, it's more serious than that because Anne Hathaway has like. Oh, no, I know, I've those. seen it. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. yeah, dude, like, Anne Hathaway's naked like that entire movie. It's so awesome, mm. and <laughs> really awkward. So, I, I, you know, um, my dad got it on Netflix when I was visiting yeah. him last time, and I was like, "Yeah, let's put this in. We'll watch it," not knowing that it was just going to be like an hour and a half of sex scenes. And uh, so halfway through the first sex scene, like, I start laughing, and my dad. Like thinking that I'm laughing because of how awkward the moment is. He's like, "What's so funny?" And I went, "She was in a fucking Disney movie." <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching another podcast that just brought that up. That's You're funny because a podcast. It... Yeah, yeah video, podcast. video podcast. Oh, welcome to the 21st century, Tony. Welcome to suck a dick. <laughs> we need to be, we need to be welcome to that century. Yeah, we will be. Yeah, good enough. Too low tech. Forget- I figured it out today. Who wants to, to who wants to buy me a webcam? Uh, you have a good enough webcam. Matab, everyone's got five dollars. But but yeah, they were talking about the <laughs> yeah, uh, cost I, of five dollars. No, exactly. Yeah. Everyone has five dollars, Matub, so you should be able to buy. No, yeah. you can get a webcam. you can get, no, you can that's get not a workable true. you can get a workable mic for five bucks. You can can't get, get an HD a, webcam. Yeah, yeah but it's it suck. a, it's it's a suck. good webcam. No, you can get like a twenty dollars shitty Logitech webcam for like twenty bucks. I'm I'm going HD. Yeah, HD is the way to go now. Oh, I don't know. I'm going if if you have the option, why would you go awesome. stand deaf? HD takes too fucking long. No, Watch. it takes long too long. Long what? To- I mean, when I was when I make videos in HD, it takes fucking hours to make them in HD. Oh, that, that's a computer. A that's that's a processor yeah. speed. Yeah, we're not talking. Dude, you gotta you gotta get the quad core. Yeah, or the the septuple <laughs> core. Yeah, the bananas. Yeah, Buddy of mine's rocking but, six cores. And yeah, like, but if you if you if you have the proper specs, you can render that shit in no time. Yeah, is it doesn't Vegas allow for multi-core rendering? Yep. Yeah, which would explain why my videos, when I rarely make them, but when I do, they <laughs> render pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I need to learn these secrets of Vegas then. Yeah, you just need a multi-core processor and Vegas ten. What happens yep. if Vegas stays in Vegas, sir? Sorry? <laughs> what he said what happens in Vegas. Vegas. Unless you render it and export it to the internet. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> that should be their tagline. <laughs> That'd be awesome. So, speaking of movies, we were going on that. Has anybody seen any of the new films that have been out? I have. The last, like, uh, weeks? I have. I've seen yeah. two movies. What have you see? seen? Captain America. Ooh. Uh, and? Yeah. That, I, I heard I that actually, was good. I hope all right. I was, it was an all right movie. All right. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll go through the movies, but next movie. You're going to laugh at me. Next one, but fuck it. I went to go see the Smurfs. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Why? Why? Okay, I, I, I want to know an honest opinion. Garbage. Garbage. How was it? No spoilers, remember? No spoilers, you know how was it? For the type of movie it was supposed to be... Like, what was it supposed to be? Like a like a kind of 
like family, family fun, film. fun film with Stupid. a couple with a couple twist hey. hey dumb i love the smurfs when i was younger i'm I sorry too. i, I went to see it let him let him finish let him finish let him so finish it was actually really good, like, I liked who they had for the Smurfs, and actually the only main reason I really wanted to see it, because I liked who played, uh, Gargamel. Who played Gargamel? Uh, Hank, uh, I can't say his last Hank name. Hank Azaria? Hank. From The Simpsons? Yes. I love that guy. Okay. The guy Here's, who does the, the cool. voice of Mo. Did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to see the Smurfs, because it has the exact... Uh, movie formula for a movie that I hate. What? It's an animated movie mm-hmm. starring an actor that I very much like and respect. In 3D. Let's let, let's run through the list. Okay, <laughs> you got you got Garfield starring Brecken Meyer, an actor I like, who he was in uh, Road Trip. Mm-hmm. He do, he does a lot of work with uh, robot ch- robot chicken. Yeah. And yeah, Garfield Garfield was fucking terrible. Mm-hmm. It was. It was. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Oh, Garfield it. was a really royally piece of shit movie. Well, if we're going there, and, Garfield Two was and God. Here's the thing. <laughs> oh, Bill, Murray, Bill Murray only did Garfield One because he thought it was written by someone else. Like he was mm-hmm. like, like I guess the person that wrote Garfield has a similar name to a famous screenwriter, <laughs> and Bill Murray was like, I've been looking to, forward to working with this guy. And he's looking at the script. He's like, "This is kind of shitty, but I'm sure it'll come out better because it's, you know, it's this dude." <laughs> it would come Bill Murray, awesome. Bill Murray's never heard of the internet. Then he's yeah. like, "Oh fuck me!" <laughs> like, <laughs> just lay, he laid down his lines in like ten minutes and bounced. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but then let's see what else you got. Um, Alvin and the Chipmunks. You got Jason oh. Lee. Oh crap! Wait, okay, that... wait. I heard, I heard that the third or the last one they did was really good. Really? Oh. That's what we're, we're gonna, gonna go with. I heard. The third heard. One was heard. No, I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, my sister saw it. Um, I've heard. I'm not going like I would. I'm going on someone else's judgment that it was Hearsay. good. Has that? Has anybody else seen that film? I've oh, never. Cool. I, I think I've seen the first one. I didn't even see the first it. one. Nope. And that the first one was bad. Even even if no no, it wasn't bad. I'm saying I, oh, okay. I could never see that. So, oh, it, uh, but anyway, to to keep going with the formula, man, underdog, right? <laughs> so you had Jason Lee coming back as the voice of Underdog. You, uh, other people in there that I really like, uh, Patrick Warburton. Yeah, who, I love he, him. He he's voices a lot like, of shit. Yeah, he voices like everything, and it's true. He's, he's in that I show know from like being Kronk from the yeah. Um, yeah. Um, the Emperor's New Groove. Oh yeah, I forgot. And, he was and, in and um, Rock Samson. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, Emperor's New Groove. The movie I or like the... that movie. Okay, no, yeah, the Kronk the is movie. the bad guy, right? Yeah, no, he plays That's... the dumb-witted one. Okay, the dumb one. Okay, just yeah. for a second, I was like, that was John Goodman, but then yeah, I was like, yeah, oh, wait. No. no, but and then Amy Adams is in it. Um, was that guy from uh, what was the kid in? I, I don't, I don't know. He was in. Uh, I think that was like the only thing he was in. So, Shia yeah. LaBeouf. No. Poor <laughs> <laughs> Shia LaBeouf. <laughs> you know what? I remember when Shia was first getting into movies. I was reading this blog that was like Shia LaBeouf is the next John Cusack, and I was like, I can see that. And then he did Transformers, and I was like, Nope. Wait, wait. does nobody think here here think he's a good actor? I think he's a great uh, actor. I think he was a good actor that made bad choices. Uh, Man, did you guys see Eagle Eye? I did see Eagle Eye. Yeah, like, what do you I, think? I, 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 I liked, liked that it. movie. I liked it. He I think he did a really good job in that movie. Yeah, and I, think I think if he made some better movie choices after that. Yeah, it's like, but this okay. This is coming. I like the Transformers films, so I, I know why? a lot of people yes. didn't. I, here's didn't. the thing: I like tits, cars, and explosions as much as the next guy. But uh, I, I just, <laughs> I, my, my least favorite was uh, the first one. But I'm an, uh, you know, uh, yes, I wasn't looking for a story in these things in the yeah, Transformers films. Just, I was looking for pure action because that's. Like what do you? What else are you looking for in a no, Transformers? No, here's film? the thing. You're like, oh, Michael Bay's directing. There better be some tits and explosions. <laughs> That's all it oh. is. That's all he does. But the girl in the third film, fucking ugly. I didn't see the third one. Dumb, I, saw, I saw it being yeah. filmed. I was in Chicago. Uh, Chicago. Just fucking run in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I was in Chicago, and I like I wanted to go get some cupcakes, right? But mm-hmm. they were closing down the street, 
that led to the place I get cupcakes from in Chicago. God like, damn this bullshit. I am not going to see this movie because they fucked up my cupcake run. Does anybody know, in that case, do you have to pay off all the uh, the stores that are there? Um, or do you just have to pay the city or get a right for the city? You have to pay the city. <sighs> no, I'm pretty sure the city pays you. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> no, so you, you just you just have to get the right from the city, and then the city pays for the missed business I, no, that no, everybody makes on that street. How it goes down is like, hey, we're gonna dump a shit ton of money into your city yeah. if you give us some tax breaks. Yeah, okay. And give then they're like, some space. Yeah, yeah, give some. give us some space, shut down some roads, and uh, we'll you know we'll give you guys like ten million dollars worth of business. <laughs> Something they don't teach you in film school. You know, Yay. They also don't teach you the, the art of sucking a dick in film school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I know. Not, wow. no, not for me. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, What's Dave, going aren't on you, here? Aren't you in film school? I was. What did are they finish? teaching you? What did they teach you, yeah. Dave? I don't remember you what? finishing. I just remember you bitching about how long your commute was. No, I finished because I was in there for a while. And then I started talking to you guys. So are you going to become an actor? Us no. Figs. No. 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 No, I'm not <laughs> doing gonna, uh, theatrical <laughs> arts. Dave, I'm not you're going to get Transformers 4? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and on that bombshell, I think it's about time to end. Jesus Christopher Christ. No. I, I was in it. I was in it. Then I dropped out. And then I rejoined. Finished. But it's not... No. It's not for me. It's not now? Okay. And uh, it's I, I don't want to direct movies. I don't want to direct TV shows. You direct... So. It, it, it wasn't a waste of time. It was a great informational... And podcast. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, direct radio podcast. was somewhat involved with it. Dude, all I remember is is you would just be like, I fucking hate having to drive like three hours to go to class. <laughs> And yeah, these chicks, are, these chicks are really hot, but they're fucking retarded. And <laughs> that's very true. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you just stopped talking about it. So I figured yeah. you dropped out. No, I finished. Remember all much. the ladies out there, Dave McCoy. Because after that, off. after that, I just went online with it, and I was like, uh, because the commute was literally two hours to get there, an hour or maybe two hours of waiting, and then two to three hours to get home. With traffic, so it was a real waste of time from where I was. Well then, so nobody gets it. Yeah. <laughs> cricket, cricket, nope. cricket, shut the fuck up. Yep. Yeah, because I yeah. I go to I I go to school eleven miles from where I live. I work oh, eight I... miles from where I live. It's yeah, it's, it's not that bad. So anyway, guys, I think we've <laughs> all been drained of energy. You know, after yeah. uh, after talking about our dreams, and not in the in the goal sense, but in the literal sleeping <laughs> sense, um, I think I'm ready for some dreaming. It's getting pretty late, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say we call it here. What do you think? All right, all right, yeah, sure. I agree. All right, guys. You know what? Uh, I'm the only important one, so fuck all you. Have a nice <laughs> day. <laughs> you too. My tub's gay. Yeah. Yeah, my tub's an asshole. Yeah. All right, Biggest guys. Joke. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good one. Later, peoples. Hot pockets, hot pockets, hot pockets.